what's up y'all it's also dope back for another video and y'all i look a little bit hold on i look like washed out because of these lights um trying to figure out my lighting y'all um trying to get it together it was like some weird shadow stuff happening in my room and i don't know what was happening but we gonna rock with this because this is the best lighting that i've gotten um so this is what we're gonna do so let me just turn this down a smidge there we go now i look like me a little bit more um but yes like i said i'm back for another video um today i'm gonna be doing a hair and makeup get ready with me and in this video i'm going to be pin curling my hair um and doing a little soft beat um because i'm about to go see my man and hopefully we could try to do like a little impromptu like date or something so yes honey so what i have on i don't have on anything spectacular um i just have on this uh <laughs> bodysuit and um some like flared um bottoms sorry i had to get in on that tea but yeah so i did grab some new um drugstore products and stuff from um the store i went to walmart yesterday and i got to re-up on a couple of things i got my little backpacks already ready to go and then i have my little makeup bag too um i think i got this from walmart this bag is really good i always use this when i go like spend a night at my man's house to have my little makeup on me in case i'm going to work the next day or have something to do the next day and i need to bring my makeup but i don't want to bring a big ass bag this is the one i usually use just because i can fit a small palette in here and i can pretty much fit everything that i need so also y'all excuse me in advance if i sound nasally because over the last few days my nose has been getting stopped up I can breathe out of my nose, so it's not that. It's just like I'm congested. That's the word, congested. Um, so, yeah. So, I think I'm going to start off with doing my hair first. And then while my hair is setting in the, um, the duck clips, pins, whatever you want to call them, um, I'm going to be doing my makeup. So, first things first, I did a video on this wig. Um, this wig was from... I think this wig came from West Kiss, I want to say. Very nice wig, still really good quality. Um, the ends were a little dry, but I put some um, I put some heat protector serum throughout the hair. This is the Fantasia, the Icy Fantasia brand. Y'all know I use the spritz from them when I do my hair. Other than that, though, um, I probably could have... This wig probably could have used a wash, but honestly, it's, it didn't have a whole lot of product in it because I wore this a while ago. Minimal shedding, as you can see on this brush. Um, overall, great wig. I did go back in and bleach the knots after. As you can see, it's already kind of fallen into place. It's the kind of look that I'm going for because I'm going to go for like the uh, barrel curl look, but with like the swoop situation and y'all probably don't know well y'all unless y'all have me on instagram y'all don't know that i did do fringe bangs on this wig because i wanted to do something different so you will see like some small little stray hairs but that's okay because we gonna make them work <sighs> but yeah so this is the kind of look that i'm going for the hair comes like to my stomach so like slightly under the boobage situation um, these lights is like blinding me y'all um so so yeah that's what we rocking with um I look bright as fuck so the first thing that I'm gonna do is kind of just use my fingers and part through going around except for this side because hold on child I don't know how accurate that is but 
okay that's what I was saying except for this side because that's gonna be its own separate little section now y'all I had hella banana clips I don't know what happened to any of them so I stole this from my man because he has locks he has really long hair y'all seen him on my channel before he's still here um but he has really long hair so he uses those really big hair ties um so i'm just gonna show you guys how i do a couple of these and then i'm gonna speed everything up so we can get to the fun part which for me is the makeup i like doing my hair but i think i like doing my makeup a little bit more so just combing that out making sure because y'all know the nape of the hair tends to get very tangled sometimes so i took literally that much of the serum and i'm putting that on the whole section of my hair on the bottom you don't want to put too much because we don't want our hair to give oily i hate oily hair like yes we need to have luster and we need to look shiny but not like plastic okay I'm gonna be using this Revlon Barrel Curler. I think this is the one inch one um, or the half inch one. Um, I don't really remember. Um, so I'm going to actually, to make this process a little bit easier. Y'all have this drawer of my vanity and I got all my hair stuff in it on this side and it'd be like crazy. Today I'm gonna be using this um, Luster's Pink holding spray and this is going to help us activate the hair so that when we curl it it helps us hold the curl so I'm gonna curl under so I just start off by going at the top of the hair and then as I go down I continue to wrap and continue to feed the hair through here i never liked using these for real i always did flat iron curls but once i learned like the the like the it's all in the technique really how you do it um and i'm not like perfect with it but lately i'm gonna insert some pictures and stuff for y'all in here of how my hair looks when i did it because i was gonna do a tutorial on it for my um my black wig that i did it on because i tried it for the first time i did it i washed it um i didn't wash the whole wig i washed like my frontal area to get it real clean and then i put it on my mannequin head and then i um barrel curled it in sections like really really nice and clipped it and then while i did that i did my makeup and then after i did my makeup i put the wig on and then i took the curls out and they came out, when I say bomb, y'all, they came out bomb. So I got these little clips in here. Um, you can get these from any beauty supply store. Um, I have a bunch of different kinds, like from just companies sending me clips and stuff like that. You just literally put that through there and boom, that's our curl. Usually what I'll do once I finish like a row or a section, I'll spray the whole section with holding spray, then move on to the next section. Um, just to give it a little bit more um, security. So same thing, y'all can see this little lace up back here in the back. I did not cut all of that off, but you're not gonna see none of that anyway. Y'all, I should have made a video last night on these lashes that I got from Amazon. They're D curl lashes, so they look like minks. Y'all gonna see them when I do the makeup portion, but I, um, I cleaned them last night because I, love those lashes they remind me of lash extensions and i'm not getting my lash extensions done until my birthday i've been giving my lashes a break um and i told myself like okay for my birthday i'm gonna just go on ahead and get everything done um probably for my best friend's birthday because we supposed to be going out of, uh we're supposed to be going out of town um so i'm probably gonna wait till then to do it but i told myself like i'm gonna just wait um but in the meantime let me find me some really nice lashes that mimic extensions and those are like amazing i'm gonna put them in um the description box um but i also i kind of want to do an amazon must-haves video because honestly it's been a couple things that i bought from amazon and i'm like yo i gotta tell my subscribers about this stuff 
because it's lit. Y'all, I cleaned up my room. I did my laundry. I made my bed. I got my candle going. I bought me a new candle from Walmart. And it smells amazing. I'm a big candle person. I don't know about y'all, but especially like when I'm cleaning um, and stuff like that, I just love to have a candle going. I'm just trying to get consistent, y'all. Trying to be consistent. Because I feel like I had a nice little um, momentum going and I need to get that back. Um, we already are at like 12, 1200 plus subs. So 1200 plus members of Dope Crew. Um, and I just appreciate y'all for sticking around. Because I have not been the most consistent, but you know, like most most people who do YouTube have second jobs. <laughs> they have kids or they have this and that. And I don't have any kids or anything, but I do have a full-time job that I work. I'm trying to transition out of that. Um, so soon here, y'all will see that happening. Okay, so now that I'm on this side, I'm going to kind of do from this side and then I'm going to do the middle one. Um, and then I'm going to just speed the video up just so y'all can see me doing what I do. And yeah. And just watch what I do. Cool. Y'all know, well as many as of y'all know, I'm from Chicago. But yes, in Chicago, arguably, has some of the best food that I've ever tasted. And I've traveled to a lot of places. And this is no bias. I've traveled to a lot of places. And one of the only places that I've traveled to that I really just enjoy every single thing I had was when I went to Houston. When I went to Houston, honey, everywhere I ate at, from seafood to soul food to breakfast food, was amazing. Um, so shout out to Houston because y'all got some good food. Which makes sense. From barbecue too, I can't forget. I had barbecue as well. Um, the southern food is something so shout out to y'all but i'm craving this um italian beef in a pan from this restaurant and baby pratillos don't want to see them okay i fixed it now so i'm just gonna do that i'm gonna light spritz now i'm gonna speed up the video and y'all can just watch me curl the rest of my hair then i'm gonna come back when it's time for me to start on the makeup So y'all, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. 
Um, there we go. I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. Uh, hydrating Camo Concealer with the satin finish. And y'all, I swear by these as a drugstore concealer because they remind me of the Tarte Shape Tape, which is why I have a few with, of a few different shades. Um, this isn't the color that I normally get, but I wanted to try this one because it's similar to the shade that I used in um, the Tarte one. So, what I'm going to do is... And y'all, when I use... When I use this, I basically um, throw, well, not when I use this, when I do my makeup and I'm going like to my man's house or something, I'll like, as I'm doing my makeup, I'll pack everything that I'm using. That way I don't forget anything. Um, um, so y'all, I'm meant to get my eyebrows done today. So my eyebrows probably look hella bushy, but I just have thick ass eyebrows. Like so. Now I'm going to take that. So lately my brow routine has been to not fill in my brows at all um, and just like use the got to be like I did in the last clip and just like shape them. That has been what I've been doing just because my eyebrows are when they're thicker like this, I don't have to fill them in because I would. Now that I have that done, my little brush that I normally use to blend my concealer is out of commission. So I'm switching over to this fluffy eyeshadow brush that I have from Morphe. I don't know what number it is. I have hella Morphe brushes. That's basically like 90% of my brushes that I have. Um, so I'm just gonna use this to blend and buff out everything. So, boom. I'm bright as hell, y'all. I'm sorry for this light constantly changing. But hopefully y'all can get my drift. I'm gonna take this Calamine lotion. And this is a skin protectant pretty much. But it works great as a primer. Especially if you are a poor girl like me. A poor whore <laughs> like me. Um... Because my pores, they be wanting to get they shine, and I just be like, it's not your time. So relax, but they don't care. <sighs> so if y'all know anything that's good for pores, um, the Laura Mercier um, primer I loved, um, but just in general for like skincare. Y'all can't really see them now because uh, we can't waste no product, honey. Can't really see them now. Uh, too crazy because like freshly after I wash my face I use cold water to wash my face like not ice cold but cold air water when I wash my face and it reduces the look of pores um and it just makes my skin look a little bit more alive um so I do use that but I did see somewhere like when you use cooler water um to wash your face it does reduce the look of your pores so of course I was all over that and that is what I do. But this actually goes ahead and covers it up. My face is already moisturized. I did that off camera after I washed my face. I moisturized with some Jergens. Um, I do have oily skin. My skin um, tends to get oily like in my T-zone. Uh, right up in here. Um, right up in this area. Right here. Literally in the entire T-zone. So I make sure I hit all those. So if y'all seen all the girlies doing the Milk of Magnesia, this was like the same kind of vibe, but this is just actually for your skin. So it works a whole lot better. My best friend put me onto this because she uses this on her clients. 
Um, I don't know if it's this specific brand, but she does use calamine lotion. Calamine, calamine, I don't know how the hell you say it. I'm using the matte poreless um, in the color warm coconut. It's the shade 356. So lately, honestly, I have not been using beauty blenders. I don't remember the last time that I used one to do my makeup. I've been using a this dense um, angle brush for application and I really like the finish of brush application with foundation. <coughs> oh my god. Y'all, it's been a minute since I've done a talk through video like this, so excuse me and I told y'all I'm congested and I don't know what's happening right now. Um, but as I was saying before I was really interrupted, um I have been loving the application of applying my foundation with a brush um i probably look hella orange but i promise it's only the light and once we get together it's gonna all come together no worries no worries so i'm just gonna lightly dab all of that in Make sure you get on the creases of the nose. I try to spread around the product that I do have before I add any more. So that's what I'm doing now. I don't like to cover up my tattoo, as y'all can see. So I just go around the best way I can. Try not to get it on my hair either, which I feel like I, it looks like I did, but I didn't. So I do that, get that going. And now I'm gonna take off this band. Cause man, I swear one time I did my makeup and I had my band on and I finished my makeup, took my band off, left out. And I was like, oh my God, I did not put any makeup on the top portion of my head I look crazy so I did a little look baby I did a little ghetto hack and I like took my fingers I pat them around my face pat them up there and I made it work somehow luckily I don't have a big forehead so I was able to make it work try not to get the makeup on your lace I'm gonna take the tan walnut shade and I'm going to Put that under my eye. And I love this consistency of this. And I'm gonna let this dry down for a little bit. Always use my Juvia's Place because my palette, uh, my Morphe palette, uh, the color that I use to contour is damn near gone. We're going to use our Juvia's Place, the Warrior palette. Um, and I'm going to use Kano and that is this brown shade right here. And yes, it is eyeshadow, but honey, we maximize over here. So. Okay, now that I've let that conceal dry down a little bit, I'm gonna use the same brush I used to blend my concealer under my eyebrows to, for this, because like I said, my brush that I normally use to do that is not in commission right now. It's very dirty, um, so I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this one. I have a little crease in my chin and I'm like, ugh, I have to make sure I blend it out. Otherwise, I'll have like a little dark, little 
crevice on my chin. Okay. Then we're gonna blend out this. Y'all, it's some really pretty colors in here, too. I gotta do a look with this again. And then I'm going to blend this out. Okay, y'all. Now that we have all that square, let's tone this down just a little bit. Because I feel like I'm so washed out right now, y'all. I'm so sorry for the lighting. I'm trying to do the best I can to make this work. And maybe we could just go without this one. Let's just see. We can go without that one. Um, so now that I've blended all that, these stray hairs. Now this is pretty bright. I love a bright under eye, but I'm not gonna use too much. I'm gonna keep it light. And this is lighter, a little bit lighter than this one. But this is a little bit closer to the shade I used to use with Tarte, I think. So I'm only going to use a little bit. Because that's literally all it's going to take. Because it's like really bright. I'm not even going to put it anywhere else. Because I'm just going to use the excess for that. So I'm going to let that dry down a little bit. And while I do that, I'm going to take this little angle fluffy right here. And use this to contour my nose. So start it at the top where my eyebrow meets that bridge of my nose and slowly drag that down. Same thing with the other side. Y'all can see what's the situation that is forming here with the contour real light nothing too heavy um so now we are done with this palette so i'm going to put this away fluffy brush that i have this is not a morphe brush i don't remember the brand of this but it's a fluffy brush that i have um and i'm going to use that kano color that brown kano color from the Julius Place palette, and I'm gonna use that to just put some color on my eyes. As you can see the difference. No rhyme or reason, just blending it out over the lid. Cool. Then I'm gonna take this Morphe it's like a flat rounded brush and I'm gonna take this color Ahosi I think that's how you say it Ahosi and I'm gonna pack that I'm going to take this black elf um, satin eyeliner pencil and I'm just going to go over the top of my lid. I'm not going to take it all the way like a wing, just going to focus it over the lid. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect because I'm about to smoke this thing out.
Okay, so I smoked that out. Boom. Let's get back to the concealer before this dries down too much for me. Now that I did that, I'm going to go in and just focus it really in the middle. Well, not the middle, in the inner portion of my face. I'm not going to drag it out all the way around everywhere because it's the coverage is nice because I let it dry down and it is bright and I don't want to have a super duper bright under eye. I just want to bring a little bit of focus to the inner corner of it, which is why I only blend it out so far. This is my Morphe brush. I don't know the number or name because it rubbed off. Um, but I'm going to be taking that in this Airspun Translucent Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Faux Sip Isa, something like that, child. This is their Natural False Eyelashes in the style D Curl. Um, these are the most um, comparable to lash extensions, which is why I bought them. I was thinking about stacking two pair, um, but I don't think I'll need to because I cleaned them last night, so they look damn near brand new. Y'all will see how they look once I put them on. So... tweezers and people have mixed reviews about this I've been using it for years since high school it's never messed up my lashes or anything they actually actually have they actually actually <laughs> that sounds so weird to say they have lash glue uh, as well but this is what I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using the lash paradise uh, mascara um, this is by L'Oreal Paris um, this is in the shade black is black I just picked this up. This is my first time using it. I've never used this before. Um, so let's look at the wand. Super nice. Love it. Looks like it will get it together. So let's. beautiful lady right here who was rubbed off is from sephora she's the micro smooth uh baked face powder this is in the shade 56 mahogany and what i do with this is i just swirl it around like this and i go over everywhere that i contour as well as go over my entire face and this just gives you like a airbrushed a really airbrushed look the rest of the work I don't know if y'all can really see but it's like smooth this Fenty Beauty cream blush in the shade uh, summertime wine it's the cheeks out edition um, and mine is a little dirt like gunked up from me just doing this all the time so it's a little all over the place but it's okay and i love how these have a little mirror uh so you can see why you apply which is
down right away so if i feel like i go overboard which sometimes i do a little bit because i'd be forgetting how pigmented that stuff is i just do that and it tones you all down so boom now we're gonna take our morphe actually first before we do that i'm gonna take my ruby kisses tattoo felt tip eyeliner to do my bb marks which i know i always wear my bb marks i have a ton on my face as y'all seen in the beginning of the video um not all of them I put on my face are really where they are. Um, I do have three right here, but I'm going to do one right there. I'm just going to do those two. Nothing too crazy. Now, we're going to move on to what I like to call my favorite part of the process, which is the lips. Um, usually, I will have my lips... Um, with some type of chapstick or something on, but I didn't do that. Um, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray my face with this Continuous Setting Mist from Morphe, which I love, it smells so good. Just give that a few sprays. And that's that on that. Okay, so now I'm going to take this uh, lip pencil from NK Makeup in the color Coffee. This is what I've used for maybe the last, I don't know, four, five, six years, the lip combo I've been doing. I just line my lips and I do overline a little bit on the bottom. So once I do that, I take this e.l.f. Um, Seriously Satin Lipstick, and this is in the shade Cream. Cream. Then I'm gonna take two different glosses. Um, this e.l.f. lip plumping gloss in the shade Pink Cosmo and the NYX butter gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie. So I'm going to take Fortune Cookie. And go over that. And sometimes I'll go over it with a pink, uh, clear gloss. But I'm just using these two. Nine times out of ten, I'm gonna be wearing something with gold in it. I got my little backpack over here. Let me put my little jacket down on. My necklaces are in my bathroom. So I have to go grab and put those on real quick. It, the last step of this process. Which is not only taking out the curlers, but highlight so for highlight i'm going to use the jacqueline hill loose highlighter power in the color bomb and i'm going to just take a little brush and i'm going to just do and boop real simple nothing too crazy so now that i have Child, I told y'all I'm the queen of knocking stuff over. Alright, so now I'm going to come back and show y'all the finished look once I take all of these out of my head. And I'm going to put my chains on and then I'm going to get out of here because my man is waiting on me. So. Uh, 
Um, so now that that's all square, I'm just gonna start running my fingers through them and like not pulling them out really aggressively, but like gently pulling them out. Not too rough to make it like frizzy, but like just gently. And yes, girl. And then I always like to fluff it up there. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Um, now I'm about to take some pictures and I'm about to get out because my man is going to be hitting me up like, where's you at? So, uh, see y'all in my next video. Um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in.